this is going to be for Aquarius singles. And we're going to see what is coming towards you guys in love for November 9th through the 16th, okay? This is for those of you who are not connected with anyone, who is not thinking about anyone, but you are open to um, mingling, getting to know somebody, receptive of somebody coming into your life, okay? So we're going to see what's going on for Aquarius singles for November 9th through the 16th. When it comes to options in love, what's going on for Aquarius? What options does Aquarius have for November 9th through the 16th? What does Aquarius have going on as far as options for November 9th through the 16th? Ooh, sexual tension with somebody, Capricorn. I feel like you are their vice. Like they are very attracted to you. They are very attracted to you. And I feel like you're on the um, on the cusp of being a Capricorn, actually Aquarius. And I feel like they are trying to decide whether or not it's a good idea to come towards you. Okay. This is probably somebody from your past that is thinking about good memories and bad memories as well um and they're trying to decide whether or not it's like they're surrounded with you they're surrounded with memories of you good and bad memories of you okay it could be a scorpio it could be a cancer energy <coughs> excuse me here They're also, you know, I feel like they think more of the good times. And that's the reason why um, they're so drawn to you. Even though things were not like honky-dory. But I think they, they, they think mostly of the good times. Like they have um, blinders on. They're not really looking at like the, the difficulties that came up in the relationship here. All they think about when they think about you really is reuniting the happy times here. Okay? And then for others of you, um, this is somebody that's trying to, to decide if you weren't with them between you and going back to somebody in their past, reuniting with somebody in their past. So they're trying to make a choice between um, you and someone else here. I feel like this person is somebody This is, this is more of the story where they're thinking about the good times with you, focused on that, even though, and I feel like they know that the attachment is, um, is something serious, like, you know, they're really a, attached to you, attracted to you, drawn to you, and they, they're choosing to look at things with rose colored glasses on and but they're very aware of the things that also happened that weren't so good and i feel like i feel like you walked away from the relationship because you knew that basically like you walked away with your dignity like things were things were not good between the two of you this is somebody from your past things were not good between the two of you and this person was probably very um you know forthright with their words and would say whatever you know was on their mind and in some cases it's good but when you don't care if you hurt somebody's feelings then it's not so good you know and i feel like there were lots of conversations where somebody overstepped their boundaries and were quite verbally abusive 
And um, I feel like you walked away from that because you felt like you had to with the dignity that you had left. And it was like, you know, you can have whatever, just, you know, I'm out, I'm out of here kind of thing. And so I feel like this person is really looking back and thinking about the good times that you guys shared and the connection. But I'm not sure if if you're willing to, to accept them back. Um, because I also feel like, you know, you are, you think about this connection as well. But you're also thinking about, you know, going out and venturing on your own. Start something new here. Yeah, this is a Sagittarius, uh, Scorpio kind of energy here that's wanting to want to lay down whatever differences you you guys had in the past um, to start over again, hoping that both of you. <clears throat> excuse me, I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> That was weird. Um, hoping that both of you can, you know, choose to bear the burden of whatever this relationship may bring so you guys can be together. Like, wait a minute, you know, they're looking at you going, you know, don't leave. You know, we still have some things left here to discuss with these two swords down here. We still have stuff to talk about, yeah. And I feel like this person has a lot to say to you. I really do. So we have Scorpio, Sagittarius here, um, Capricorn, possibly. Okay. So that is what your option is for this week of November 9th through the 16th, Aquarius, and I will be speaking with you.